Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. I've got one of those very direct verses today. It's from Proverbs chapter 19. It says this in verse 17, whoever is generous to the poor is lending to the Lord and God will repay him for his deeds. So if you give to the poor, if you help someone who's poor, God says, you're essentially giving a loan to me and I will always pay that loan back. Now, I bring that up because the third great awakening occurred after the Civil War uh, when the nation was, was really um, rebuilding. And it was a time of great wealth disparity. Uh, on the one hand, it was the time of the Rockefellers and the railroad tycoons and millionaires were being minted almost every day. But at the same time, there was immense poverty. I mean, uh, American homes still had outhouses. There was no indoor plumbing. There was no electricity. There was still a lot of uh, sickness and disease. And there was an incredible gap of wealth. And so as the industrial cities started to grow, Chicago, Detroit, Cincinnati, industrial cities through the south and out west, um, there was this gap. And God uh, started to work in urban ministries. Maybe you've heard of D.L. Moody. Uh, D.L. Moody was an evangelist in Chicago. He led the Third Great Awakening there. But also in the Third Great Awakening, there were a lot of Christian leaders, mostly pastors, but some business leaders as well, um, who saw needs in, the, in society and led by verses like the proverb we read today, created organizations that are still with us. Let me name just a few of them. The Salvation Army, The Goodwill, the YMCA, Young Men's Christian Association, the American Red Cross, Volunteers of America, Pacific Garden Mission, Votes for Women, uh, women's suffrage was a big Christian movement in that time, the Moody Bible Institute, and the list goes on and on of institutions that are still with us today that were started by Christians who were motivated by their love for God and scripture to try to help society, interestingly, not through government funding, but through Christian charity, uh, which is something Christians used to take great pride in. I would say an appropriate pride. That's maybe not the best word for it, but it was part of, if you're a good Christian, you take care of the poor and you, you help society. Um, and so very interesting how uh, we saw how the first great awakening really is what resulted in the constitution. The second great awakening is what resulted in the ending of slavery. And then the third great awakening, uh, none of these things solved all of America's problems. It's still a nation of sinners and there's still all sorts of racism and brokenness. None of these things have made it a perfect nation. But each of these spiritual revivals of Christianity have led to great improvement, great steps forward for the nation. So when we pray for a fifth great awakening, we can only imagine what God has on the other side. We know that if there's not a fifth great awakening, our nation is headed away from God and it's going to be bad. So a fifth great awakening is going to prevent a lot of pain, but who knows what other good things would come out of it. Let's keep praying for that fifth great awakening. I'll see you tomorrow.